and they're on the line ready to go. This is going to be, it's all about power. These guys don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be raw power. The testosterone's going to be flying around there. The aggression's going to be out there at the cans. Yep. They're going to be working hard through the bank. These guys are going to be flying fast, making their way through. Have we got the start list for who's we going do, through there? We do. Guys got negotiated the potholes pretty well there. Everyone's in and out. And again, in the horizon, a few waves still breaking out the back there. So what is going to transpire over the next seven minutes? I am absolutely this pumped to see who's going to take this out. Such a good race. Even in, even if you just had a look at the um, the Queensland field, it's something that's always um, highly prized. As the boys start to go over some of the white water, you can tell it's really, really shallow still in that first section there. That's um, Bevilacqua from Northcliffe on that very distinctive red and gold board. But Newport in the middle of the field also looking very strong. The boys will all start to form up um, pretty quickly heading out to that first can. So if we look across the field, we had Burleyheads Mowbray Park Team B, Redhead, Mermaid, North Cronulla, Burleyheads Team A, Torquay, Alexandra Headland, Manly, Northcliffe, Newport, Allura, Manly, Swansea, Surface Paradise Team A and B in the mix and a Northcliffe B team at, at, in there as well. So as expected, Northcliffe and Newport, the first two up there, I can see uh, Mermaid Beach is in the top five or so, North Cronulla on the left-hand side as well. I cannot wait to see the... Uh, <laughs> the traffic at this first can it's going to be fantastic and the traffic is going to be there and these guys would have watched that last race noting that the field of mm -hmm. guys couple of waves out the back knowing they're not coming the whole way through so it's going to be high rate it's going to be pure I guess perfection out there because these guys have done it for a long long time and the, some of these boys are going to be going around the can four or five deep as well so some of them are going to go really really wide they will barely even see the can as they go through Man, look at this white water. It's about to hit up on the can as well. Bevilacqua from Northcliffe, still the first to go around. He's going to hit the can first. Harold's looking at the form guide. There are some amazing teams in here as well. Even just the redhead team, Isaac Costello, Justin McMullen, Dan Collins, looking ridiculous. at them Absolutely on the list ridiculous. right there. Now, Joe Engel, Bailey Johns, Corey Fletcher for Burley Heads, Mowbray Park. There are some unbelievable teams out there. Alex, mm -hmm. Bruce Burroughs, Casamento. And Cooper have a look Williams. at who's in who's in that Northcliffe A team. Like, talk about an A team for Northcliffe. <laughs> the Lackwell, Poole, and Corey Taylor. What a crew! So this is the one. The team of Borg, Brooks, and Morris took it out last year. Mm -hmm. Can they go the back to back? This is ridiculous. Just going through this. This is probably even worse than the ski final. Yep. This is a surface team A. Ali Day, Max Beatty, Tex Dixon. I mean, that's. I mean, just to make that team is incredible. Bevilac, we're heading a little bit further down to the south. He really wants that, as we can see. Is that BHMP coming Corey through? Corey Taylor just coming through. But it, this is what we spoke about earlier. Not too much there. Keep that rate up. Keep that board speed going forward. Oh, and manly. Wow. Jeez Louise. Stewie McLaughlin. That's what he does. Look at the speed coming through. Stewie Keep it up there, buddy. The Riggler. He oh, took out the... He took, he took out the he took, just watches him go past. He took out the, the Masters gold a couple of days ago. Yep. And he, this guy has still got it. So he, he's winning Masters races on a, on a sprint finish. So there's three guys oh, in the yeah. same race. So these guys, once you can paddle, you can always paddle. And he but is going to be this a... this guy can eke out any runner. And he's a wave ahead and he looks back and he goes, yes... I am doing everything I need to do right now for Manly Team A. He is ahead of Matt Bevilacqua, one of the most informed board paddlers in the world. Bevilacqua currently the uh, world board champion and the national champion as well. And Bevilacqua has been joined by about 10 other competitors on the next wave. Manly, get in there, buddy. How many times have we seen this? Stuart McLaughlin, so the first good. one out. So he's coming out. He's going to be tagging the team of Harrison Stone, Wes Gould. I'd imagine that Wes Gould will be up, and then Harrison Stone's going to bring that home. What as a it's team. Done what a transition. Look at him move across the sand. That is epic. Yeah, and there we go. Oh, and here we go. North Cronulla coming up next. That's Reese Burrows in the mix there from Alexander Headlands. Redhead, though. Justin McMullen taking around. in second. It's a great footage here. Taylor wow. just up on the inside there. Little slip Stumble. over there. But again, Stuart McLaughlin showing that... How is that speed that he got down the wave and just kept that the entire way through to the beach? That was amazing. I just shake my head at it. So I know, you're just, you're just having a moment here going, yep, that's some really good paddling. And here we see the boys heading back out. Redcliffe, we've got the uh, bright sunflower sunny, there's a sunflower togs there. Surface Paradise, two teams in the mix on the left-hand side there as well there, A and the B. And look how shallow it is. Some of our competitors are actually opting to jump off their board but I tell you what, Manly is through. They are they are done with this white water on the first break. So Wes Good knows he's he's got to protect this lead, noting that he's got Harrison Stone mm -hmm. bringing it home for them. He's done it many times at State. They won 
six or seven no, in a row. It was ridiculous. Really, yeah, they're just we? killing it every single time. Give ourselves every opportunity, and they know that this win. Oh, it means so much. Come on, we've got to get that rating up, hit that can. Loving that Redhead is still in the mix there. Some of our other clubs happy to tuck in behind there as we go. So Manly Team A, Harrison Stone, Stu McLaughlin, Wes Gould, Northcliffe was Bevel, Aquapool and Corey Taylor. I want to have another look again. Surfers, uh, Swansea Team A, Hayden Copping, Kai Taylor, Kurt Murphy. Gosh, even the Surfers B team, Finn Askew, Archie Vernon and Ben Highfield. So good. We can see the boys just making their way back along to the northern end of the beach where there are some waves standing up. So Wes Gould is really hoping to get over these and then have the white water hit everyone who's chasing him. Yeah, and noting that they've got a decent lead at the moment, how much work Sorry. is that pack putting in at the moment? So we've got the guys there. There'll be Dan Collins there for Redhead putting in the work, but are they trying to chase down the pack? Or are they happy with where they are at the moment and hoping for that wave coming through? But at the moment, this is Manly's race. Wes Gould looking strong as they head to that first can. Burley Heads Mowbray Park just out there as well. And that's Bailey Johns working hard and then his little mate behind him. As we've seen many a time, last time it was there, Bailey Johns with one of the greatest finishes you'll ever seen in the under-19 board final mm. over Casamento. Now, where's Casamento? Obviously in the water there as well. So looking strong, but at the moment, Manly, Manly, Manly. Manly's still in the mix and he's managed to hold on to that lead as the chase pack comes through. Alrighty, Manly, we've got to get you some runners. We've got to get you some waves through here. Let's see what we can do to uh, maintain this again. He's just sizing that up beautifully, coming around the final can saying, come on, give me a wave, and he's going to get something. This is incredible. The fist will be pumping, and look oh, out the back there. On. Bailey John's having a look. Dan Collins there oh. as well. And Casamento, waves building up from behind. Matt and Matt Paul as, well. as well. So we've got just one in front, but... You know, Wes Gould is not stopping. He is still working his way through. Board speed through that hole is ultra important as this next one fills up. So we've got one, and then on the inside left, looks like one now may become nine. Yep, if Wes Gould needs to get over this next one, if he wants to hold off the rest of the field, Matt Poole has gone down further to the south as well. He saw that. Uh, that was the approach taken by Matt Bevelacqua as well. But Wes Gould maintains a one-wave lead on the rest of the field. This is huge for Manly. And you can see Redhead still in the mix behind. Some amazing shots as the uh, Kira Shaw break starts to come through. Wes Gould will hopefully get this little double up as well. And then he is going to have to work this transition because Matt Poole is in the chase. <laughs> because here comes the cavalry. Here comes the rest of the field. Manly, though, holding on. One leg to go in the open board relay. And the Manly second team is just on that next wave as well. So Manly could be pushing for a, a double podium. But Wes Gould looking very, very strong. He has clear the rest of the field. Come on, Manly. How I'm getting very excited. No, right this now. is this good. Is 15 second race. lead over one through no, no, 10. Bailey Johns, previously a great rugby player. Now he's a surf guy touching for the last tag there. And this is on, ladies and gentlemen. Three and a half minutes, and we are going to have your new Australian board relay champion handed out. And, and there we go, the Harrison pressure, Stone. All the pressure on Manly right now. He is just head down, and that rating is absolutely amazing. He's got to get through this next one. Come he's on, buddy. Pop. He's had to pop. Everyone else is catching. Come on. There's another two that he's got to get through. Is it going to hit anyone else worse, though? The rest of the field just pushing through or popping. Alexandra Headland still in the mix. But BHMP and Newport still probably two and three at this stage. Northcliffe holding on as well. Corey Taylor coming in after Matt Bevelacqua and Matt Poole. What a team that is. And that gives us a beautiful shot right now on the lead that Manly has on the rest of the field. But I tell you what, Harold, he needs to get away from that first can as we've seen. Well, that's what we saw. Stuart McLaughlin, renowned, oh, renowned so prone good. paddler, wriggler. The board's, you know, trimming through the water nice and mm -hmm. nice and fast. And that's what Harrison Stone's going to do. Is he going to be able to pick up that wave that wasn't a wave that, that Stuart was McLaughlin was able to pick up? Just a couple of butterfly strokes, and it was just keeping him across it. But at the moment, it looks like that the pack is catching at the moment. And we might have Joe Ingle there from Burley Heads Mowbray Park leading that pack. Yep, that's Burley Heads Mowbray Park, Newport, Alexandra Headlands. And then another Northcliffe. And Redhead is still holding on the second Manly team as well. Kendrick Louie, we just saw him come around and make the tag to the final competitor. Isaac Casella there for mm. Redhead. 
Surface Paradise probably sixth or seventh at this stage. So Manly goes around that final can as the boys just get through there. And, and they've closed that gap. They, they have really closed have. that gap. Yeah, come on. And it looks to be maybe Finn Askew coming through the third paddler for one of our Surface Paradise teams just about to pop over some water. And another great season from him. Oh, wasn't it fantastic? To see him get that maiden win in the uh, Nutrigrain Ironman series in some pretty crazy surf. Oh, now they're all in the oh, one shot. Harrison here. Stone has them on his toes and he'll be able to hear the breaths coming from behind. Oh, Joey know. Engel up strong from behind. Runners coming round. This is where we're getting into the wave zone, ladies and gentlemen. Harrison Stone has won many, many titles and this is the one that he will want to take home with his mates from Manly. One in front. Billy Heads Mowbray Park on the outside there. Look at that. Little runners there for... Alexandra Headlands is on. BHMP is on. Newport is on as well. Manly just trying to keep that board speed up. Is he going to be able to do enough? Alex looks really good on the right hand side but just falling off now could this deliver Burley Heads Mowbray Park another open medal on day one of Aussies 2022. Now Alexander Headlands really far down on the far right hand side we saw Matt Poole take that approach in the second leg and it absolutely paid off we are coming into the waves Harold, who's it going to be? The far right-hand side looks to have some good speed Just up. But Burley, Burley heads heads Park. Park on that inside line. But is that going to be enough to hold it through? Is that going to be enough? We've seen it die off a little bit there. The rate is nice and high. <gasps> Joey Engel working on it. No, 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 that's Corey, Corey Fletcher. Fletcher. I, th I thought he had the pink ball, but he's changed Corey to the Fletcher fast yellow. Corey Fletcher is clear. Corey Fletcher. He's got 15 metres to go, getting up off on there. Burley heads. No break park. And I tell you what, if there is a sprint finish, I would be backing this man over nearly anyone else on the beach. Look at that rating. He knows how close they are to an Aussie gold medal. Burley heads Mowbray Park about to hit the sand. He's going to be the first to his feet and Burley heads Mowbray Park takes another gold medal at the Aussie Championships. This is going to mean everything to that team as they come around right now. What a way to start. Joel Engel, Bailey Johns, Corey Fletcher take a bow and an Aussie gold medal. Unbelievable stuff. And one of the great things about these guys taking home is that these guys are going to get some air time. If you want to see some struggling, let's look at Manly. Manly, Manly coming Manly, Harrison Stone taking home that. And we thought it was that outside line there. Get across the line. Williams from Alexandra Headlands. Brooks from Newport. Fantastic points all the way through. But Burley Heads, Mowbray Park are the absolute stars of the show. Northcliffe coming through. And another Manly cap. How is that for points, Manly? Angus McFarlane. Two Two amazing teams up there ahead of Red, uh, Redhead coming through now. Burley heads no Burley great heads Park. Park. Corey wow. Fletcher, what a final paddle, but set up beautifully by Joel Engel and Bailey Johns. Unbelievable. Fantastic work. So the, the boys are there. You know, the Loving the media, getting all the good photos. Paparazzi is down there, but I tell you what, we're going to get Sam down there and Manly. Fantastic, some high fives through the crew. And I great, tell you, great crew. So a little bit of a Central Coast connection there. Corey Fletcher was a nipper at Copa. Bradley Johns a little bit at your minor, but unbelievable. Probably four of the best looking at gentlemen on the beach at the moment. That does include you, Sam, but you're with the gold medal winners. Unbelievable. Tell you what, after a moment like that, it's hard to actually get in there at the moment. We will try and force our way in to have a chat to the boys, Joe Bailey and Corey Fletcher. Boys, we'll just quickly jump in for the live stream. Yeah. Australian Open Board Relay Champions. How does that title sound? Oh, it sounds pretty good. We worked so hard for this all year. And to come away with a win, it was, it was really special. The club from the outside has always seemed like a really close-knit group. What does it mean to actually get a result like this with your mates? Oh, it's insane. As you said, the squad we've got at Burley is just so next level. We're all, it's just a big family and we push each other so hard. So it just it means everything for the whole squad. But the yeah. race was, I was going to say, the race was a roller coaster watching it. I don't know how you guys felt in it. Corey, we'll speak about that last leg. What was going through your mind on the way out? And then when you got a little sniff on that run on the way back in? Yeah, um, uh, it wasn't much going through my mind. Uh, last year I stuffed up the finish and I tripped over. Uh, unfortunately, we had second. I just wanted to do one better for the boys and I knew we could. So I just put my head down when I got that little runner and just went for it.